components pages layouts and the navigations between the pages are the most foundational aspects of building a web application or the web page next is as a framework provide you all these utensils to work with using the app router that they have come up with in today's video we are going to take a deep down in understanding how pages and layouts works and how to navigate from one page to another page in the last video you got to know about the directory structure the best way of organizing your next.js app router project this video is all about making them more functional so let's get started in the last video we learned that a page is something which is unique to a route. It means when you wanted a slash home route you used to create a folder called home and inside that you used to create a page.js file. So a page is unique to a route. But what if you have to reuse certain thing across pages? For example, you have to reuse a nav bar or you have to reuse a left side bar. You have to reuse a footer. In that case, instead of creating it per pages, you will create them as a layout. Let's consider we have a slash home route and for that we have a home page. The home page, you can see it's a bunch of components that is arranged. Similarly, you have a route called say slash dashboard and for that you have a dashboard page. Now, if you want a navigation bar at the top header or a left side bar or a footer, a commonly appeared between the slash home and slash dashboard, you won't be creating them or recreating them again and again per pages or for per route, you will have something very common which is called layout. So I'll be creating a layout and then I'll share across multiple pages so that the layout will remain common. And one of the best part about layout, what do you know, once you go from one page to another page, that means once you change from one route to another route, your layout never re-renders. Page may re-render, page may get new data, new value, you know, new structure based on what kind of data comes in. But the layout structure remain very static that gives you a performance benefit as well so this is the difference between page and layout now let's get back to code try and see like how can we create layout and there are variety of different aspects of layout that you can deal with in a next.js application using app router let's start where we left it from last time so we have seen like we had created pages under the app folder which was like our root level route slash then we had created pages under dashboard under about under contact to create various kind of pages fair enough today we are going to talk about layout little bit more so when you have created the project i have got a special file called layout.js at the root of the app folder along with the page.js file this particular layout.js file gives us the content for a root layout what is root layout as we know, like layout is something which is common across pages. So it means that whatever you write inside this particular file component, mm -hmm. it will be applicable to all the pages in this application. That is where it is root layout. Ultimately, your application runs or render on the web page. Ultimately, it will be an HTML file, right? At the end of it, after all the circus, it will be nothing but a bunch of HTML, bunch of CSS, bunch of, bunch of JavaScript. Now the HTML file, we'll have a root html tag inside that there will be a body tag only once and then inside that there will be multiple things there are multiple div tags p tags you know based on the data things get dynamic and all these things happen but there is only one html tag but there is only one body tag that we all know now that one html tag and body tag gets defined inside this root layout so that's what you get to see over here there is a html tag and there is a body tag and then the root layout is also taking a prof called children what is this children? This children is the content of the page that is co-located to the layout. So if I see this layout, there is a page that is co-located over here. It means there is a page that stays just beside this layout. So whatever the content of this page, which is nothing but a main H1, it's going to be passed as a children to this so that ultimately it will come as HTML body and then a main and then H1. So why this layout is useful? The layout is useful because you want to keep something which is very reusable and you don't want to repeat them per pages. If I go to slash dashboard for a moment, do you see the look and feel is a bit different from the home page? Why? Because the home page, if I go to home page and open up the page.js file, along with the H1, you also get to switch CS tag called main along with some styles. Now these styles and this main tag actually making this look and feel a little bit different because this main tag and these styles are not available if I go to the page.js which is inside the dashboard folder. So you don't have this main. Now what happened? 
I go back to the home page. I go to the page.js file, which is the root level. I just knock out this meme. Do you see what happened? The look and feel of home page now exactly same as dashboard page. But this is the look and feel we don't want. We rather want home page to be centered, the background to be a little bit, you know, smoother and all this thing. So whatever the code was there inside that main tag and the class name. Now, instead of repeating that per pages in the home page, dashboard page, about page and etc. I can safely take it to my root layout. I can enclose these children using this main tag. Let's see what happened. See? Home page is now look like before, but how about the dashboard page? Let's go back to the dashboard page. Wow, the dashboard page also looking great. If I go to about page, if I go to contact page, all those pages will have the similar kind of look of look and feel. So you have seen already that a layout is solving the common problem. You don't have to repeat the fix on every pages. But let's take another example of a nav bar. More practical use case, like you have a nav bar, you have a sidebar or a footer, which is like common across multiple pages. And instead of repeating them per pages, you would like to keep them in your layout and then reuse, right? So let me create a nav bar component quickly and show like how it appears. One important thing to call out here, you would have seen me teaching you React Server components a while back. So in Next.js, every component, every React component that you create, by default, they are server components, be it inside layout or pages. It has its own advantage because server components are co-located to your data store. They're more near to your data store, so they can query your data store directly. They don't unnecessarily download a lot of client-side things on the browser page, and due to this, advantages next just decided that by default all the components that we create all the react components that we create is going to be react server components but it doesn't mean that you won't be able to create a client component you also will be able to create a client component but you have to use a special directive called use client directive which you're going to see in little bit later when we see the navigation between pages okay now let's go back and start creating our components which is like navbar so I have a fold I have a folder called nav. Inside the nav component folder, I'm going to create a file called navbar.js. And inside that I will have a navbar component. This is a very easy to understand navbar component, React component. What it has is returning a nav HTML tag. Inside that you have a bunch of UL LI. Uh, in one UL you have home and dashboard, another UL you have about us and contact us. And inside each of this LI, there is an anchor tag signifies that once you click on this, something else might happen. So this is our navbar component. And you have seen like I have not used any use client directive. So it means that it's a server component here. Now, instead of using this navbar per pages, dashboard pages, about pages, contact pages, what I'm going to do, I'm going to my layout and the top level layout is where I'm going to use this navbar so that it actually applies to all the pages of my application. Import it over here, import navbar and then just use this navbar. That's it. So I have the navbar now. I have home, I have dashboard, I have about us, contact us. Now, if I go to my home page, I still have the navbar. If I go to contact page, I still have the navbar. So the navbar is statically over there. And then I can actually reuse this navbar across multiple pages. So this is a beautiful factor of using layout. So I have used a root level layout. Now, can I use page level layout? What does it mean? It means that if I have a slash dashboard route and I have a page.js, can I use a layout only for this page? Yes, we can. Let's see that. Let's create a layout for the dashboard, the dashboard page. Okay. To create a layout, the simple thing is to create a file called layout.js. If you're using TypeScript, then layout.ts. And then you create the layout. It's a simple React component, a React component called dashboard layout. Again, it should take a children, which is nothing but a co-located page content. And then I have these children and around these children is what I'm going to do in the layout. Similarly, I have a metadata. I'm going to now show you a tweak. What is a tweak? Let me go to the slash dashboard route first. And let me change this title to say dashboard. Look at here. It has got changed to dashboard. Now, if I go to the root layout and I change this to home, I see it as home. Whenever I go to dashboard, I see it as dashboard. So the layout actually injecting the different kind of metadata based on which route, which page you are supplying to this particular layout. Okay, so which route it is in and based on that route, the layout metadata is changing, which is really, really awesome. You can control the metadata from here. Now, let me go back to the dashboard route for a moment. So I'm in the dashboard route 
and the dashboard layout is this let me do something different over here so that we know that that difference is applied into the dashboard layout but it is not applied elsewhere let's put a background color i'll do a class name equals to so we'll do bg till 500 so you see a background color got applied on the dashboard page that's fair enough that's good enough now if i go to home page what will happen will i see this i won't see this specifically i have applied a property on dashboards layout which is not available into any other route because this layout is only available under the dashboard route so it means that for every route if you want you can create a specific layout for that particular route page which is good for example in this dashboard imagine like we might have a bunch of widgets tomorrow and we want to create a grid layout and that grid layout we can use in the dashboard page itself if you see the layout hierarchy at the top level you have created a layout all the things inside that layout is applicable to all the pages below it so we know like per route as we have page if we want per route we can also create the layouts if we want to control the layout of that particular page of a route in a very specific way a few minutes back we had added this navigation bar along with few links like home dashboard about us and all but none of these links are operational they are not working so now we are going to create navigation between these pages home to dashboard dashboard to about about to contact contact to home you know and for that what i'm going to do i'm going to open up this navbot.js and going to import a special component that next.js provide us call link so link is a component that is given by next.js for linking between one page to another page and what we are going to do is going to replace all this anchor tag using link we are done replacing all the anchor tag using link still it won't work because link expects an attribute called href and the value of the href should be a route path that you should be linking to so for home it is slash of course for dashboard it is slash dashboard we know the path because that's the folder name for about us it is slash about and for contact us it is slash contact now if i go ahead and click on home i'm at the home page click on dashboard i'm on the dashboard page about us about page contact us contact page isn't it awesome a few lines of code that's going to give us the whole entire navigation but there is another way that you can navigate between one page to another page what if i have a button over here and clicking on that button i want to go to home page clicking on that button i want to go to home page so it means that i need to have a click handler and i told that in the server component you cannot get an user you know interactivity you cannot get the click handler change handler things like that so for that you have to create now a client component and from that client component you have to navigate to another page how do you do that let's learn that as well with the link component we could statically link one route to another by statically i mean that wherever i place this link I'll be creating a link to another route. But what if I want to do it dynamic? I want to do on clicking of a button. How do I do that? Okay, so let me demonstrate that. For this, we are going to use a special hook called use router that comes from Next.js navigation. Okay, so under components folder, let me create a folder called navigation. And inside navigation, I'm going to create a new component called nav button because a button which is helping us to navigate from one page to another dot js first thing first let's create a react component okay so let's return a button and then let's give a to give a text take me back to home okay something like that and then what we're going to do we are going to of course do export default of nav button the next thing is i'm going to use a special hook called use router so i have to import it import use router make sure you import it from next navigation so we have imported that and after importing you have to get a router from here so i'll do const router equals to use router that's it and the final thing that is left not the final thing the last but one thing that is left is to okay i have to give it as a type there is a typo is to add a handler on click handler so i'll be adding an on click handler over here and in this on click handler when somebody click the button i'll do a router dot push router has multiple methods one of the method is called push and here i'll tell where to go when somebody click on this button which route i have to go i will tell this now this is good but one problem over here is 
there is a button and there is an interactivity it means that somebody is clicking and i told by default all the components are server components so if you need user interactivity server components it won't, it won't work you have to create a client component now i have to make this component a client component i have to tell explicitly to nextjs app router hey nextjs app router this is a client component so treat this as a client component to do that i have to use the directive call use client before the import at the top of the component file okay so to make any component as client component just you, you add this particular directive before the import this is ready now nav, nav button is ready to use the next thing i'm going to go to inside dashboard page.js file and over here i'm going to import nav button remember this is a server component page.js is a server component so inside server component you can very well import a client component but inside a client component you cannot import a server component this kind of design pattern we'll talk in our future videos as well okay so now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to use this button i'm going to use the nav button right after maybe this h1 but of course this is going to give me an error because i have to wrap this using another element or fragment so that's what i'm going to do uh, i have the dashboard page this heading and then take me back to home there is a typo over here b a c k let me change it now what happened if i click on this tada i'm on the home page and you see i'm on slash route if i go to dashboard i can come back to the home page i can go to about i can go to contact those links work as, as it is i can come back to dashboard again so the dynamic linking is also using using use router i hope you found it useful so friends i hope this video was useful you learned about page layout and the navigation between the page using link and using use router now what you can do is all the source code that we have done so far is available and the link to the source code is there in the description of this video you can start building something equal that we have built so far try to build an app bar try to build your layout try to build your pages try to do some kind of navigation between things and if you happen to do do so please post it as a comment into this video post the link to your repo and i'll check this repo and if there is anything i find i'll definitely get back to you i'll give you feedback up next we are going to do deep dive in understanding routing so we know a bit of routing now but there are really really more to it there is a dynamic route there are parallel routing there are various aspects of creating a web application not only for the sake of creating but the right way of creating and nextjs provides us all those abilities to do that so the next video we are going to do deep dive with the routing and if you like this video please give a like because that means a lot to me and please subscribe to this channel once you subscribe i really really feel motivated in making more videos okay so see you soon again with the next video.